Hello guys, this is Tushar. In this video, I will take you through the process of creating and building JMeter source code in Eclipse. I had been recently exploring the JMeter source code uh, with the intention of some plugin development and that's where this video comes from. Now there are a couple of ways you can create an Eclipse project for JMeter source code. For example, you can start with creating a Java project and then import the JMeter source code and then import the dependencies or you can even start by creating a project uh, directly from the source code on a local file system or even the github URL. However, I found that most quickest and error-free way of creating a JMeter project is actually using the supplied uh, ant build tasks. The JMeter team have done really well and I must appreciate them for providing this ant task for project creation itself. So without further delay, let's get started. Um, first of all, the prerequisites. Uh, you would need a Eclipse installation, of course. Uh, you would need a JDK 8 or higher. And you would need Apache Ant and JMeter source code. And uh, don't forget to check the compatibility of all these components uh, with each other before you start. So first of all, let's uh, start with the Apache Ant installation. Assuming that you already got the JDK installation on your system and uh, Eclipse installation, uh, I'll show you how to install uh, Apache Ant and configure the environment variables for the same. So let's head back to Apache project for Ant. For this particular video, I am uh, using Ant version 1.9.14. And let's download the zip. So here we have downloaded the Apache Ant. Let's uh, unzip this one. Now we would like to, it's a good idea to place this in some location, preferably C drive. And I generally actually create a folder in case we have to use the different versions of Ant and move this version into the main folder. Now all we need to do is actually create some uh, environment variables on Windows. So let's start with the environment variables for Ant. So under the system variables, we'll create a new system variable called Ant Home. Copy the path of this folder. if you like we we would also update the path variable with the ant pin so let's append let's call it ant home yep looks good so all we need to do now is actually verify if the ant is configured properly and it is working so we'll open a command prompt and type in and space minus version yep so the ant is properly configured let's close this moving on let's download the jmeter source code now so let's head back to so let's uh, download the source code 5.1.1 that's the version this might take a few seconds alright it's done so let's go to the download folder and check it out here it is extract alright so we have downloaded the jmeter source code now <coughs> again let's move this to a folder of a different location of our choice so let's say I'll move it to C drive again. So now you've got um, Apache Ant, you've got Eclipse, you've got uh, JDK. Um, and oh yeah, let's verify the JDK as well. So open a command prompt and type in Java minus version. Um, yep, we've got 
JDK 8. That's what I want. Let's close this. So uh, recap again. Uh, we've got JDK, we've got Eclipse installation, we've got Apache Ant. Uh, so yeah, it's now it's really simple from here on. All you need to do is open the command prompt um, inside the JMeter source code. And before that, let me show you, we've got the Eclipse installation here. So now the real magic starts. <laughs> Let's navigate to the source code directory. Let's see. This is the command for the ant task which would set up our Eclipse project. So I will type in ant set up project. So this is the command we need to use to set up uh, Eclipse project automatically and just play enter. What's happening here is it is automatically picking up the build file from the source code folder uh, which is here and it's gonna run with the build file so when prompted click yes and now it's uh, downloading all the dependencies uh, building up the project It's going to run for, I think, around 30 to 50 seconds, just less than a minute. Alright, cool. So, oh yeah, so it completed in 1 minute and 19 seconds, took a little longer, but it has done the job. So now uh, it has downloaded all the dependencies uh, for this JMeter source code project. And let's open the Eclipse. Now we are going to import this. So let's um, so let's head back to file menu, and you need to select the import option under the general category. Uh, select the option existing projects into workspace. Now we need to navigate to the root directory, which is in C drive. Fine. So it has found the project, and let's say finish. So as you can see, it is building the workspace, the project. And we are all done. As you can see, there are warnings. So, I mean, warnings are not very fatal. Uh, at least there shouldn't be any error. So you would always see in a full-blown project, you would always see a lot of warnings. But they are not that much harmful or fatal for your project. You may still be able to uh, build the project successfully. Okay. Um, in my experience, this was the shortest and sweetest way of uh, creating the JMeter source code in Eclipse, really, because I, have, I had tried a couple of other ways, but this was the best one. Um, now let me show you the ant view. So let's, um, let me show you some ant tasks which you might need. So go to show view ant. Generally, you would want to drag this build file into the ant view. And as you can see, we can we can see the ant XML file in the ant view in a more verbose way. There is one more uh, build file which is in extras directory. If you go there, you would see another build file. Just drag this one as well. And you're done. So, if you want to run any any ant tasks, you can simply double click on any of the, the required ones you want from here. Uh, the important ones you would need generally is um, the download jars, which download all the dependencies. This one. So let's uh, give it a go. So although we have done, we have downloaded the dependencies, but just to show you uh, this end task, I'm rerunning it again. All right, good. So this has completed successfully. Now 
another check I would recommend is the build path so let's open and see what's in the build path yep under libraries you've got all the required libraries being found and there are no errors cool um, and one last task I would like to show you is the running the GUI so once you have built it you can actually launch the GUI and see if it's working it's called uh, run GUI yep got it so there you go guys this is the quickest and sweetest way for um, creating an Eclipse project for JMeter source code lastly I would recommend that you uh, do read the Apache license uh, and find out what you can and what you cannot do with the source code before you try it out so yeah just it's, it's recommended to read the Apache license once so that's all for today uh, thank you thanks for watching guys bye bye